let's talk about being sexy. Well, really, I want to ask you if you still feel sexy. And if you know how to look a little sassy, sexy, stylish while still being elegant and relevant, that sexy French feeling of being internally confident and having that slight wiggle and radiance as you walk, it's a classy form of sexiness. This video is all about French sex appeal and finding your own allure. I love the girls at the Crazy Horse in Paris, full of oh la la and strength, the sexy tongue-in-cheek routines where the ever so chic girls swing around poles in panties, black bobbed wigs and very little else, or shimmy in and out of beaded curtains, giggling and wiggling with wide eyes and heels to retro soundtracks. It all looks so fun and so effortless. But of course, as with many of the most beautiful forms of apparent nonchalance, comes a great deal of work. In this case, rehearsals, discipline and strength training to work the body as well as the mind. And that's where the real sexiness comes from. Of course, you don't need to dress like a cabaret dancer to be sexy at midlife or whatever your age. Many modern midlife women love to find their own version of sexy at midlife and beyond, where you can feel sexy and classy, elegant and relevant. Stripped of fishnet tights, tassels and the sky-high heels designed by Christian Louboutin, the crazy horse girls stand in total confidence, control and conviction. And that's sexy, right? But of course, we're not all live cabaret dancers, especially not at Midlife and Beyond. And that's the subject of today's video, sexiness at Midlife and Over. I'm Alexandra Alenska, and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno as well as magazines including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to. Because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life because I know you're ready to rock life again. Watch to the end for some tips on bringing a touch of French sexiness to your life, whatever your age. And look out for my other videos from the O oh to Oh La La series, injecting a bit of French flair and va, -va boom to your modern midlife and style. Sometimes, especially at midlife, it can seem as if sexy is equated with youth. And sometimes what society or men can find sexy can seem cliché. You only have to have the most cursory glance at the sex shops of Pigalle in Paris to see the boobs, the legs, the latex, the fishnets, the strappiness, the high, high, high heels. It's a lot. Though I confess that I really love black shiny things and it's fun to mix up the obvious. A hint of PVC with some plain knitwear, a peak of a flutter of lace with denim, or a tight leather skirt with a turtleneck and thigh-high boots. Why not, right? Or you can save the clichés for the bedroom if you feel like it and nurture your own day-to-day -day version of sexiness. Because of course it doesn't have to be so performative. Your personal style is very individual and should reflect your individual point of view and so should your idea of sexy. You can have fun creating your own style that you feel comfortable in at this point in your life. Because when you're comfortable, you're confident. And when you're confident, you're sexy. Have your ideas of sexy changed? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more midlife style inspiration. Sexy is living life on your own terms, not partaking in trends in pubic hair, you know what I mean? Or pushing yourself to wear crotchless panties or heels that, you're, that your back would rather you didn't. It's about being open to finding what feels good for you right now. I help my clients to define a core style identity, to express all of your beautiful sides in any situation, to feel comfortable and sexy and stylish from deep within, to dance through life with lightness and ease and an inner twinkle radiating out. Because what's really sexy is the confidence of really knowing and accepting yourself. And that is extremely attractive on a much deeper level than a cleavage created by a push-up bra. And if you're interested in French allure, it's about knowing yourself and holding yourself with conviction, whether you're a crazy horse star or a middle-aged woman who's just decided to embrace the grey. Because the thing about French sexy is it doesn't have to shout. It can look like the peep of a lace bra under a shirt or the interplay of a black bra underneath a white shirt the nonchalance of a top that flops off the shoulder, or a red lip with a plain grey sweater. That unexpected contrast. 
the silky feel of a satin blouse gently unbuttoned and contrasted with well-fitting jeans, all worn with utter conviction. It's the surprise of a long silk turtleneck gown worn with no knickers, feeling the fabric against your buttocks. It's wearing heels if you like, but knowing that sexy, powerful women don't have to wear power heels. Heels have their place, but there's nothing as confident or sexy as standing your ground. It's the interplay of maintaining an element of surprise and a little mystery, and at the same time letting people in. It's the tender touch of manicured fingers against your collarbones and the grace of a gesture. It's knowing your boundaries, making others feel comfortable and radiating charm. It's the allure of being enchanted by an artwork at the Louvre and laughing raucously with your friends. It's about having a zest for life, a joie de vivre, and accepting all sides of life. Because the thing is, you need to feel sexy for yourself, and it's okay if you don't feel that every single day. It doesn't matter how silly you feel, take yourself out on a date, buy yourself some impractical sexy underwear just for you. Push your boundaries a little, try new things, and explore your own allure to find your own version of sexy right now. It's your secret. Et voilà! Merci and thank you for watching. À la prochaine, bye bye!